वेलकम अगेन डियर फ्रेंड्स टू माय इलेवेंथ लेक्चर ऑफ द सीरीज अंडर माय यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स व्हिच एक्चुअली हैज बीन नंबर्ड एज लेक्चर एट बिकॉज ऑफ रीजन विच विच आई हैड एक्सप्लेन यू इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर नाउ लेट अस कवर आर टॉपिक सब सर्फेस इन्वेस्टिगेशन रिपोर्ट प्रिपेरेशन एज पर क्लॉज नाइन ऑफ इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड कोड वन एट नाइन टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी आई विल इन माई लेक्चर एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट आर द बेसिक इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट विच वन शुड कवर इन हिज रिपोर्ट राइटिंग एट द एंड वाइल concluding the report after analyzing the test results and interpreting them what i wish to say is that the test results do comprise of the results which we obtain on the soil samples collected and brought into our laboratory from the field which will show and describe them as cohesive soil or non cohesive soil with their cohesion and angle of internal friction and other test properties being mentioned under this test results this report comprises of in situ test those may be spt test dcpt test or static core penetration test dcpt means dynamic core penetration test and static core penetration test results and they are done if the particular site where we where we did go for investigation required them to be included in the report and it may comprise of any other geophysical test for any dynamic foundations which may have to be provided if it is it would have been any investigation for any industry which necessarily comprise of vibratory machines to be installed in the site now the analysis of test results is actually the which comes into play based on your experience the way you analyze the test results prepared for that very particular site second is the interpretation which is actually the basis of adopting any design parameters based on the subsoil strata being met with at that very particular site which have now been consolidated under these test results the format of which has also been provided in this indian standard code 189 to 2021 2021 now after all this has been done and if you refer to my previous lecture Uh, what desired to be done at the end is key on the basis of whether it is a single story structure or double story structure or multi story structure or an overhead tank or an underground sump or any industry it is a, whether it is a cement industry or whether it is a sugar industry and their kind of structures whether it is a, uh, a structure for any uh, milk industry whether it is a structure for any paint industry or rather to say it is bridge minor culvert etc or road embankments etc so what i wish to say after the test results for that very structure have been prepared we have to do the necessary self bearing capacity calculations which we have to do assuming the structural requirements the design load requirements on the basis of which we presume certain kind of dimensions of foundations and the type of foundation which may be of any kind say isolated stiff footing load bearing wall shear wall or full raft or any pile foundation depending upon the most suitable and economic and foundation which need be most suitable and economic suitable and economic foundation 
as per the basis of the requirement of that very structure. Your report should also compose of if we are going in for any rough formation, the K value, which is the modulus of subgrade reaction and the modulus of elasticity of soil. Because these two values are required for further designing by the structure in agriculture. And if we are providing with the recommendations for the pile foundations, we must we must do this liquefaction analysis also nowadays and accordingly based on the liquefaction depth or any scout depth if it is the case of an increase, we should calculate our compression capacity, uplift capacity and lateral load capacity of the pile which comes into effect based on the depth of the pile and the diameter of the pile. It may be under in pile comprising of under rims. Although these days people prefer to construct going for straight diameter piles. And one thing more need to be clarified: if it is a cohesive soil, you can go in for under end piles. But if it is a sandy soil, if it is under water, we must go in for straight in uh, cast in situ piles only, straight diameter cast in situ piles only. That is all which I wish to say about this foundation if it is being recommended in that very particular structure. And this dynamic properties which shows or yeah, gives us data about shear wave velocity, any damping forces etc. If it is any kind of a vibratory foundation or dynamic properties need to be assessed at the site for on the basis for and on the basis of the structure coming on that very particular side. Okay. Now, iske alawa, what we need to cover is ki whenever we, we go in for isolated column foundations, we have to backfill the soil. So, we need to check the soil suitability whether it is suitable to backfill or not. This also need to be covered in our geotechnical investigation report. And last but least, if we have encountered any kind of harmful SARS in the soil and the water beneath the water, which may hamper or dampen the foundation of the structure, we must necessarily recommend the, recommend the remedial measures in order to make the structure safe so that the harmful cells do not rise by capillary action through the walls which may afterwards after completion of the project create dropping down of the plaster dung etc and many other things that is all which i wish to say should necessarily be the part of our geotechnical investigation report dear friends hope you must have liked this lecture of mine as we go further in our next series of lectures you will get to know something more important and realistic about geotechnical investigation i think the last lecture and this lecture of mine will be very useful useful for all budding professional civil engineers who wish to adopt geotechnical engineering as their profession maybe something which i have told in these lectures of mine till date are useful for the students also. Moreover, I think we all this, these things will be very useful for all the architects, structural engineers, geotechnical engineers, civil engineers, builders, contractors and whosoever is in this civil engineering profession because this is the basic of any structure before we actually design the structure based on the geotechnical investigation. I think you will keep on subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.